Hi, this is section 2.2, adding real numbers. Um, and as you look at the screen, you're probably thinking, why are we on the internet on the start of this video? And the reason is when we go to section 2.2, let's, let's start off, be on page 74 in your book. I'll give you a second to get to page 74. Adding real numbers, one of the first things that the book just um, rehashes through is how do we add positive and negative numbers, and what do we do when we are um, adding positive and ne negative numbers of the same sign or positive and negative numbers of different signs, okay? And that would be a review, and I'm going to briefly talk about it, but if you need extra um, reinforcement or you need to be retaught how to add positive and negative numbers and you need more detail than I'm going to offer you because this would have been taught in eighth grade, you can use this site. It's a very good site, Khan Academy. They have videos here. And so here's the site, Khan Academy. You can see it with my pointer. And there's videos on arithmetic and pre-algebra that you can go to. I'm going to click on that real quick. And um, we're going to look at addition and subtraction as a topic. And you can look at videos, for example, you can see adding and subtracting negative numbers and the rules for adding and subtracting negative numbers. And there's an actual video to it here. Okay? And you can find several videos on that topic. So all I'm going to talk about real quick, if you go to the top of page 75, if you go to the top of page 75 and, and you look at, um, there's a blue box. I'm just going to quickly rehash through the basics of adding positive and negative numbers. Okay? If, and let me get my pen working here, it's taking a second. If you, and my pen is not working, so just one second. This is really ticking me off. There we go. Okay? If, you are adding two numbers of the same sign, it's very easy. Just add the numbers and, and put that sign at the end. For example, you know, you can see uh, at the top of page 75, something simple like 8 plus 7, that's easy. It's 15. You just add them up. They're both positive. It's 15. If you had negative 6 plus negative 10, since we're adding two numbers that are negative, that's easy. 6 plus 10 is 16, and you put a negative out front, negative 16. However, if you're adding numbers with different signs, like let's say we had 8 plus negative 12, the simple rule for that is to forget about the signs for a minute and just subtract. So I'm going to forget about the signs. I have 8 and 12. I'm going to quickly subtract 12 minus 8. That's 4. So I know the answer is 4, but now I have to get the proper sign. Since the absolute value of 12 is, is the bigger of the two, the absolute value of 8 is 8, the absolute value of negative 12 is 12, since this is the bigger number and it's negative, then I know my answer would have been, in this case, negative 4. Okay? Or here would be another example. Let's say I had negative 18 plus uh, 23. I have one number negative, one number positive. I want to add these up. Well, really what I do is I forget about the signs, and I just quickly subtract, and I get 5. And so I know my answer should be a 5. Now let's just make sure I get the proper sign. 23 is the larger absolute value. The absolute value of 23 is bigger than the absolute value of 18. Since 23 is the bigger number, I know it's a positive amount, so I know the answer is a positive 5. So that's just a review. If you need more practice on that or more reinforcement of that, please go to the Khan Academy site and you can see some videos on there. Okay? What I would rather spend that time on today, what I want to spend time on right now, let me get off of this, is Section 2.2. There's some key properties you need to know, and so I'm going to get to that uh, screen of my notes for that so we can walk through those. Okay? Uh, let me cancel. I want to open this up. There we go. Let me see. Am I getting that? There we go. I got it. Okay. So here's the page I was looking at. And we have five properties we need to know regarding adding real numbers. And the first one is called the commutative property. All right. The first
first property is called the commutative property. And the commutative property is simply this. If your numbers or variables are being physically rearranged, then it's the commutative property. In other words, the commutative property is the property that allows you to add in any order that you want. Okay, and, and a simple example of that would be like here. 1 plus 2 plus 3 equals 2 plus 1 plus 3. This is the commutative property. I'm going to, as you notice, 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6. So is 2 plus 1 plus 3. The fact that I rearranged the numbers did not change the result. The commutative property is the property that allows me to rearrange numbers when I add and not change the result. Okay? The second property we have is the associative property of addition. An associative property is when you add in a different order, but the numbers or variables were not necessarily rearranged. So this property is a little different from this one. The commutative property, the numbers were physically rearranged. You can see 1 plus 2 plus 3, I physically rearranged my number in a different order of addition. That's the commutative property. I physically rearranged the numbers. The associative property is a little bit different. It's when I add in a different order, but the numbers or variables weren't necessarily rearranged. So here would be an example of the associative property. I want you to notice, in this example, the numbers were not rearranged. I have 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 in the same order. But do you notice I am adding in a different order because of the parentheses. On the left side, I would go from left to right. 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6. But since I put parentheses on the right side, this is telling me to do 2 plus 3 first and then add 1. I'm still getting 6. But here I use the associative property. I didn't physically rearrange the numbers, but I did, because I used parentheses, I did change the order I added them in. Okay, so I hope you're, that's making it clear. The commutative property is when you physically see your numbers rearranged in a different order of addition. The associative property is basically when I have used parentheses to change the order, even though the specific order of the numbers or variables did not necessarily change. There are two other properties that you need to know with adding real numbers. Um, oh, I already had that screen. Let me go to my next one. The identity property, and this is a simple one, but sometimes people forget it. I think it's so simple we don't even think about it sometimes and we forget that it exists. The identity property says any number plus zero equals itself. That's the identity property. They call it the identity property because adding zero keeps the identity of that original value. Okay? Uh, so if, if, let's say I had five. If, fi if I have five, five plus zero equals five. I kept the identity of the number. It's still five. That's called the identity property. And then the final addition property that you need to know is called the inverse property, and they call it inverse for this reason. If you add opposites together, you always get zero. Okay? Um, so that is called the inverse property. Here would be an example of that. And I put these other terms I wanted to talk about, but I'll get to that in a minute. Here's an example of the inverse property. If I take negative 6 plus 6, I get 0. Okay? That would be an example of the inverse property. Um, I don't know why I put this in here. Someone must have asked a question and we talked about it. I'll, I'll, we can talk about that more tomorrow. Um, these properties also have other uh, names that we would want to know that identify that with the property. Um, for example, for the identity property, it's also called additive identity from time to time. Okay, and if you look in your book and you look at uh, page number 76, you'll see that highlighted at the top of the page. The identity property is also called additive identity from time to time. Okay, so the, and the reason we call it additive identity is because the number zero keeps the identity of that number. And then the inverse property sometimes is called the additive inverse 
because if you add opposites together, if you add inverses together, you get zero. Okay? So there are four major properties that I need you to know with, with section 2.2, two, which is over adding real numbers. So there's two major tasks you have to do. I need you to be able to add real numbers without a calculator, and then I need you to know those four properties, commutative, associative, identity property, and inverse property. And that's um, the two adding rules I already talked to you about earlier in the video, so I'm just going to put these up here to let you read through them. And I talked about this already. Okay? When you're adding numbers with the same sign, just add the absolute values and put the sign of those numbers in front afterwards, like negative 5 plus 3, negative 8. But if I have different signs and I'm adding, what I'm actually going to do is subtract 15 minus 8, 7. And since 15 has the bigger absolute value and it's negative, it would be negative 7. Okay? Um, I think that's all I need to cover in this video. And when we come in tomorrow, we will practice this topic.